They are all right. Ready. As women, we all face <laughs> something once a month that is totally yeah. natural. Yep. What's that? However, many people still feel uncomfortable discussing. I'm talking about getting your period, okay? Oh. I'm Shocker. slow, all right? Um, yeah. In fact, a new study from Think says that 58% of women admitted to feeling ashamed during that time of the month, and 42% said that they actually have experienced period shaming from family members and male friends. So, ladies, do you think period really? shaming is real out in these streets? Yes. I think it can be real, like, in the workplace, if someone's like, oh, she must be on her period. Like, that's just so corny. We're grown. Like, come on. It's not like we just got it yesterday. Yes. Like, at some point, getting your period becomes a normal thing where you actually know how to handle it. You know when it's coming. You know that you might be a little moody. But, like, for people to point that out, it's just so corny to me. Yeah. Well, you make a good point, though, about coming to a certain age where you realize it's something that's part of life. Like, if, if you're a teenager and you have the cramps and the menstrual moments, yes. of course, you're new to it, so you might, you know, have a little bit of leeway time. Yeah. But once you become a grown woman, you understand that it's gonna come out sometime of the month, and you're gonna deal with it, but don't blame us and act like we don't know how to live our lives and deal with what God gives us as a gift. That is yeah. true. Go through. Yeah. I don't know, I think we're still at this age. Do you guys feel like that time of the month really gets you down? Um, well, I think I still feel embarrassed, only because you guys remember seeing those PSA educational films in school? Yeah, those right? Those old ones that like yeah. Mass and Gill type commercials? I'm one of those girls. I did those, those films. And Wait, people hold still on. Recognize Wait, what? Me from I'm sorry, what? Yeah, so you know when you sit in health class and you see the really old film and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so lame. Do they yes. still roll like they in like... the VHS machine? <laughs> yes, they roll in the TV. They don't do that yes. anymore? I was that chick, you guys. That was like one of my first films. Well, what films. did you have to do? What, what did said? you say? I had to do everything. I had to have like the embarrassing talk, you know, with my mom and be like, mom, I think I started my period. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the entire world knows it. I was even on Sister Wait a Sister and somebody recognized me as, hey, that's that period girl. It was me. No yes, freaking way. Okay, God. wait a minute. Our I real fam, fam. Oh, girl. let's keep it 100. Our real fam are some of the best researchers and yes, stalkers out are. there. Real fam, hit me up at the Genie Mai on Instagram. <laughs> Tag me in this video. <laughs> no, find this find video. It. We gotta see this find video of Pam. Yeah. I think it's on YouTube. Find it. Well, I think um, we're, like, I always like to go like, how this originated, okay? Yes, in okay. some in societies and in some religions, uh, you know, they look at a woman being on her cycle as being unclean. Yes. And so they put in certain things or, you know, ways to act when a woman is on. So it's like everybody knew you on it because it's like you're not supposed to sleep or touch yeah. or hug. Like yeah. that's wearing certain, a scarlet letter. Yeah, right. Yeah. But some people and some religions are modernizing it. It also happens like what happened in school. They were actually trying to teach, yes. but I think now they need to modernize it and teach that it's just a natural um, thing yeah. and that women shouldn't be ostracized about yeah, it. Or yeah, absolutely. It's really a yeah. gift. You have to understand, again, it goes back to maturity. When you're that immature and you're like 12 years old in class and there's somebody talking about their period, people are gonna laugh and be silly. Why? Because they're immature. Yeah. Well, let me remind everybody, there's a reason for a cycle. It, it actually starts life. Yes. That's the whole yes. purpose of it. Mm -hmm. Like, if you don't get it, then you know that you're about to start life most of the time. Damn, okay? one of you got sex ed real quick <laughs> in here. Yeah. No, because I don't want... You it's know, actually because a beautiful thing. There are young thing. girls out bad. there that will, are, are feeling ashamed. And you, you have to understand, when you get it, that's your sign, mostly, of that you're becoming a woman. And cool. there's nothing wrong with that. Hold on, wait, wait. My mom actually said, when I, when I got my period, yeah. she said, congratulations, you are becoming a woman. It was a very, very sweet I'm more dress. like, congratulations, I ain't pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> that, too. Now. That'll do it, too. <laughs> Come yeah, on. Now. I wasn't phased. When I got my period, I literally, like, knew exactly where to go. I knew where my mother's stash was, and I just kept it pushing. Well, I think sometimes, too, women use it as an excuse nowadays, too, because, like, if you're in a relationship and you acting kind of funky with your dude, you're like, I'm sorry, baby, two days later, I was PMSing. It's like, we got to stop as women yes. using it as an excuse, Exactly. Too, so. Then you can't get mad when they use yeah. it against yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're using it as an excuse. But again... 
We grown. Like, y'all don't know how to handle your PMS already in your 30s? Like, some people don't. You've been having it for over 15 years. But that's you why it education out? is important. If you don't talk about this, if you don't, you know, provide classes, everybody mama don't talk to them. Everybody that daddy don't true. talk to them. Yeah, everybody but... don't have mama and a daddy or somebody. That's you true. might have, like, an aunt like I had that be like, look, this how you do it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Kim, like... why are you making that face? Do you think some people because... don't have it under control? No, I, I'm legit still embarrassed buying like tampons and no way. way I am I send in my husband to do it you make Adam buy your tampons I do isn't that more embarrassing uh he does it <laughs> wow, wait, 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 wait. Adam, Adam. you know Adam is a good husband yes. Yes. Cause he, yes. you don't think that's more embarrassing well, okay. for him why I feel like this men is don't way care. you guys this is way too much TMI okay but um I had I had a hard time learning how to use tampons because I wasn't sexually active uh -huh. while I was, you know, using okay, them. Uh -huh. So it it was not fun. Uh, I'll tell wait, you that. Wait, so I wait, used, wait, I, wait, hold back. Hold what? Back. So she used pads. I used pads for a very, very, very long time. I did. I, well, so it I'm not alone. Wrong with that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's... No, but it was it it would hurt, and then I you know read about. Oh. Oh, so syndrome you, oh, okay, that, now I'm with you. Yeah, oh, you know you, you needed get, to use the pearl, the, the nice ones. That I didn't thin. have that back then. I had the, the little hard, baby ones. I had the hard cardboard one. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, that's not the no, one no, that no. would just no, it's not hurt. Ones that don't even have the applicator. No, what y'all don't remember is no. what I remember when we uh, my aunt. My Irina, you know, yeah. she told me how to do it first. We used to have a pass that you add this contraption with, remember? And you would no. have to, you would have to hook it on. You and, guys know what that is? And the pad was like a brick. It wasn't like the pads you have today. It was like a Lonnie. big old brick, and you had to, and then it was. Come on, stop fall. it! You act like you were born before there were no, telephones. No, I was what are you right. Doing? I'm like, I'm old. I'm an old bitch. No, okay, you're look. Not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> She's not. Yo, somebody told me that that's what they send you home with after you have a baby. That they low key send you home with a, with like a telephone book pad. Yeah. And it's yeah. like a pamper. A, that thing goes yeah. from the belly button all the way to your spine. Yeah. yeah. It's true. It's like somebody. Like, called, it's true. It's, it's like, big underwear like with a, a huge pad belt. because yeah. you continue to to bleed after you have your baby. Right. A lot of people don't tell you that. But see, I was right on the cusp of it, Jeannie. I was right, like, at towards the, the end. Between, the like, cusp. The, the cusp. On the cusp. <laughs> Inventing the telephone and having cars that can drive? And what? then it was like, then they invented the pads that just stick on. Oh, my God, we have having the this adhesive. on national TV. Yeah, the adhesive. <laughs> That's when they had. But they and were Tam still was huge. using those for a really, really <laughs> long time. Using. Wow! Yeah. Shut up. So can you I... imagine? Because the packaging today is, thank goodness, so for technology is small, is little. And it's but not noisy. Back then we had huge boxes. We, woo! Wait. <laughs> See, okay. If that's, have me, if that's Lonnie's version yeah. of feeling old, my version of feeling old today <laughs> is remembering of whether or not you took the one you put in out. Yo, when oh, you, you have a bad memory. memory. That's like a serious, you can, you can get toxic, is it yeah. toxic syndrome? Don't toxic shock in. syndrome. Toxic shock I'm aware, syndrome. but I'm not the only person sitting there just taking You're one out, unwrapping it, and going, wait a minute. No. Girl, that's what the string is for, ain't it hanging there? Yeah. Yeah, but some people some... forget. I had, you know what? I remember this. <laughs> my, my mother, my friend's mother, was we thought she was losing weight, all this other kind of stuff. Yeah. And we thought something was really wrong with her and she was getting sick. We were saying I could buy it. She was losing weight a lot. She went to the doctor. They looked up in there and it was an old tampon. Oh, jeez. That had been there since, I don't know how long, maybe 20 See, years. See, that's why I didn't use for the real. tampons. Wow. For yeah. real. Wow. I used the pads for a very long time. Also, be careful with those. Um, be very careful. Go. That's why you should go to your doctor. Mm -hmm. Because um, my friend had an IUD, and she forgot she oh, had the Lord. IUD. And it got infused in, oh, in her, did. and they had to go in and get it out. So you... that's why women have to go to the doctor. It's a reason for doctors. It's a reason for getting a checkup, so you yeah. can check down there. And that's it's all. also important you know? to not get too yeah. drunk. Yes. Where you forget the tampons Thank up you. there, and then you have intercourse, and then things get real funky. Well, yeah, okay. Exactly. From period shaming to best friend shaming. Go ahead, we over with that one. Psychologist Barbara Greenberg recently wrote an article in U.S. News and World Report describing a new trend sweeping schools oh, across yeah. the country. 
Okay. Banning Fantastic. best friends. What? Mm -hmm. Yes, you guys, this is real. Many schools want to ban children from having, quote, best friends because they feel like children, like a child, if they lose that status afterwards, it could cause them emotional distress, like if you're no longer somebody's best friend. So some schools also believe that kids claiming they have best friends excludes other kids in the class and it makes them feel bad. Right. So ladies, do you think this is a realistic policy or is it just really dumb? Yeah. I think that's really dumb. I think there's a difference between cuddling and coddling your children. Mm. If you coddle your child, yes, you better preach, okay? <laughs> They're gonna become unsuccessful adults. You have to go through the bad to appreciate the good. Yes. That's called life. Yes. Yes. You have to let your children experience yes. life. That's right. The whole purpose of being a parent, tell me if I'm wrong, Tam, yeah. is to prepare your children for the life. real yes, world. absolutely. And if you continue to do that, I, I, I think that this is just so dumb on so many levels. <laughs> like, you can't protect your children that much to protect them from they feel bad. They actually should get used to, there are gonna be times in life where someone's gonna make you feel yes. bad. Yeah. I can and remember, you gotta get over it. I remember my first breakup with my boyfriend and I remember crying on my mom's shoulder. Yeah. You guys wanna know her response? What? Uh. She was like, oh, I'm sorry, honey. But this gonna happen again. No. Yo, she keeps it real. But yeah. she kept it real. Yeah. Yeah. And it yeah. prepared me, and it did happen Ms. again. Miss Darlene don't <laughs> play. Miss Darlene no, does not do. play. I guess maybe, I think, I'm more concerned with cliques in schools. Ah, Because okay. that's what I'm more concerned about. Yeah, and that's where it gets dangerous. I don't mind you having friends and everything, mm -hmm. but when you have these certain cliques and you see one child sitting over there by themselves yeah. all the time and they don't have any friends, I'm more, I wish that, I hope that schools look at that more so than, okay, yes, it's a course. best friend situation. Yeah. Right. Yes. Well, from being young to growing old, a recent post on the site, Girls of a Certain Age, asked women how honest they are with people of about their age. Mm. So some people said that they took pride in their age, and one woman even saying she rounds up so that people will think she looks good for her age. <laughs> That's smart. Okay. Another woman admitted to simply not correcting people if they think she's younger than she actually is. Mm. So ladies, should age be a source of pride for a woman, or is it something they should hide? Well, I'm proud. What did you yes, guys say? Pride. 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 Okay. Yes. Baby, loud and proud. proud. Yes. yes. You better oh, say that. Okay, okay. What? Let's what? be real though. When it comes to pe some certain finances, the problem is there are certain um, industries that actually ostracize women for their age, especially in this industry, Hollywood. In, in Hollywood, yes. in corporate America. So. You know, I'm like this. If you gotta make your bread, and you gotta put them digits down, put those digits down because no. you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh. You know? I, no, there are people that I, don't I know work. What you're saying. I know. They can't get work. What Lonnie's Especially describing as is, a woman. There too. is kind of a shelf life in Hollywood sure. as one of yes. the industries. And, 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 and corporate other. America. And, and tech industries, too. I yes. know that my dad, he's um, pushing, like, late 60s, but he's such a good engineer. He sometimes questions if he should tell people his age because people will then assume a man in his 70s is already going too old to work at his company, but he's mm -hmm. more out of touch. If you're right. doing marketing, they're, like, want young, hip people that yeah. are, like, connected and socially well, savvy, yeah. social media savvy. I love, this is why I really love one of my, um, who I look up to when it comes to aging women, and it is my own Mama Mai. Because Mama Mai, Truly, she really does live a life where she's learned, she's went through so much heartache and stress back in Vietnam that she's learned today after pushing out three kids, raising them to be beautiful people who love and, and, and are in the family, she knows to just be free of burdens and free of stress. And so she, you know, even though people compliment her for being young, she just, you know, she, she knows that heart. the Asian, no raisin. Yeah. And so she knows that we look young because we're happy and that's it. And, I, and I think don't, we can don't hide it. I think we can help to make this not so much of an issue. If women that are like at certain positions, at, at you know, whether it's Speak industry, out. whatever, hire women based no matter on what, what. Women have to help women get out of yes. this yes. situation. Yes. 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 That That's true. what I'm saying. Yes. It's true. So true, yeah, like if you are a woman in power, hire a woman of an older age. I even love that CoverGirl did that. 
Yeah. yeah. CoverGirl hired the woman, she was in her 60s, yes. to be a model. And I thought that was incredible, but it is so true that we can help each other out and go against the stigma of like, oh, if you're older, you know, you're washed up or whatever the case may be. Yes. That is not true. I think women gr aging gracefully, there's nothing sexier. Damn. I agree. Yeah. Woman. No, honestly, that I... That sexy thing is real. I have the opposite effect. I think for so long, I've looked so young. Mm -hmm. There are still people to this <laughs> day that yeah. are like, Oh my gosh, I'm so shocked. I can't believe you have two kids. Guys, I'm almost 40. Yeah. I've just yeah. been blessed yeah. with very, you yeah. know, like youthful young skin. And Thank I'm you, almost Mama. 80, so yeah. I'm still working. <laughs>